Premier Planet, Justin Barlow here inside the Premier Studio in Woodstock, Illinois. And holy crap, what a night it was at PPW 157. If you weren't in attendance, oh boy, did you miss out. But as always, we want to send a big shout out to everyone on the Premier Planet who uh, came in to spend their Saturday night with us here in the Premier Studio. Thank you all so much for coming out to support us in the Premier Studio and outside the Premier Studio by sharing all of our social media posts, retweeting us, sharing us on Facebook. If you weren't able to make it out to the Premier Studio for PPW 157, let me fill you in on all the excitement that you missed out on. We opened the evening with a one-on-one -on -one contest between From the Block, Jamie Garza, and Zero One, who was accompanied by Zero Two. Now in this match, this definitely came into play. As you can see here from the footage, the referees distracted. Zero One and Zero Two make the switch. Zero Two is able to roll up Jamie with a small package and get the one, two, three on behalf of his partner Zero One and Zero One is awarded the win in this match thank to, thanks to a little sneaky play from the Zeros. Following that, we had the ladies of PPW. It was a return match. Lena De Oro taking on Sky Blue. Now these two going in were one and one, a dead heat. This one was the tiebreaker, and as you can see from the footage, Sky Blue taking advantage of a split second opening is able to roll Lena up with a schoolboy, and Sky Blue breaks the deadlock, going two and one against Lena De Oro at the end of the match. A great show of sportsmanship from both ladies, and we look forward to seeing more from them here in the here at PPW in the future. Following the ladies. We had a grudge match to possibly end all grudge matches. After being ingloriously put on the shelf several weeks ago, the human video game Scott Colton was out for revenge against the Dirty Boys Club, and he was able to get his hands on the hunk with the tree trunks, Chase Gosling. Now, <laughs> there's, there's so many things that could be said about just how intense this match was given the history and given just the pure hatred and hostility between these two. So let's take a look at what happened in the closing moments of this match. Do you want to quit? Ten, nine, Do you eight, want to quit? Seven, six, five. So you can see there, Chase and Scott pummeling each other into pure exhaustion, unable either man to get the fall before the 30 minute time limit expired. The match is ruled a time limit draw, but Premier CEO Randy Ritchie comes out to ringside immediately after, congratulates both men on an incredible match, acknowledges that there is no way this feud is going to be settled in a time limit draw. So this coming Saturday night at PPW number 158, it's going to be Chase, it's going to be Scott Colton one-on-one -on -one again. This time, they have an hour at their disposal. That's right, a 60-minute time limit. Following that grudge match and that time limit draw, we had a one-on-one -on -one match. It was the former PPW World Heavyweight Champion, the world exclusive Matt Vine, taking on this time, Zero Two. Now, you can see here again from the footage, the Zeros really using that team mentality, dressed the same. They're able to make the switch due to a distracted official. Zero One gets in this time, is covers Vine, one, two, and then the pin is broken up by Jamie Garza, who, if you remember, was a victim of this switch and play tactic from the Zeros in the opening contest. Jamie out for revenge, breaks up the count. Zero Two is awarded the win via pin, I'm, I'm sorry, via disqualification, but the Zeros are sent packing because Jamie and Vine were furious at this. Vine grabs a mic, issues the challenge for this coming Saturday night, and we are gonna have a tag team match. It's going to be 0-1 and 0-2 taking on the team of Matt Fine and Jamie Garza. You are going to want to see that this Saturday night. 
And in our main event, the whole reason that my voice is just completely shot right now, it was the finals of the 2017 Challenge Pro Cup Tournament. It was the reigning PPW World Heavyweight Champion, Ronnie Veronica Metro, taking on Woodstock's own El Meromero Inestra. And a special stipulation had been added, stating that if Inestra was victorious, he would earn a chance at the PPW World Heavyweight Championship. First of all, we should start calling him Quick Draw Inestra within the first couple of minutes. Inestra is able to roll up Ronnie Metro for the 1-2-3. Inestra scores the first fall, and then after a brutal second fall, Ronnie Metro is able to get the pin on Inestra. 1-1, one one. we go into the sudden death third fall, and let's see what played out. <laughs> So there you have it folks, your 2017 Challenge Pro Cup Champion and new number one contender for the PPW World Heavyweight Championship, El Mero Mero Inestra. Congratulations Inestra, you earned it, you heard the fans going crazy. This was an incredible matchup and we are going to see Inestra cash in that number one contendership opportunity this Saturday night at PPW 158 when he takes on the man he defeated for the Challenge Pro Cup, Ronnie Veronica Metro, title on the line. You are not going to want to miss a single moment of the action this Saturday night. Once again, Premier Planet, thank you all so much for your continued support of us here at PPW. We'll see you folks out here. Again, that address is 1230 Davis Road, Woodstock, Illinois. Once again, my name is Justin Barlow. You folks are the best. We will see you out here in Woodstock.